got the beast back. Did you see it out there? I did. <laughs> well, well, yeah, I did. I did. I did. Thursday? No. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I've got this thing that continues to grow. And I feel like I didn't even go to bed last night. But good news, I get the beast back today. Bad news, I gotta pay some more money out. But it's all good. And it's crossroads day. Well, the beast is back. They said they couldn't find but one place where it was kind of leaking. And I don't know, we'll just keep an eye on it. So we'll see, but it's good to have her back. Did you do okay last night without me? There are many perks to being a minister. And when I say perks, it's not like financial boost or anything. Because um, if I was in ministry for money, I would be a big failure because uh, this is not how you get rich. But anyway, uh, one of the perks is, and this sounds weird, but when someone passes away, it's not a perk because you're doing a funeral or anything. The perk is in a Baptist church in the South, the way we roll, if you lose a loved one and you're part of a church family, that family is going to probably feed you at some point. And we have a funeral today for one of the greatest men I've ever known, uh, Mr. Ralph Esco. He was a minister, he was a Marine, he was uh, the pioneer in our video ministry and very involved in our Hispanic ministry. So he's been in a little bit of everything to everyone in our church. And his uh, funeral is today and they're feeding the family at 12. Here's the part that's just, I, I'm always so uncomfortable when they are feeding the family. And I don't know exactly why. I just always feel weird. Um, so I think I'm gonna skip the funeral food and I don't know, maybe I should go. Well, I changed my mind. I ended up going back and eating with the family. Um, Eddie and Jason and I, we went in and had lunch with the family. It's delicious. Our people at our church, they are, they're an amazing bunch and to a lot of folks they just look at go, oh that's just food but that is love you know to stop whatever's going on in your life to prepare a meal for people that you're friends with or family with that's just that's special to me and i couldn't imagine going through the loss of a loved one without a family like you know a church family and the only thing i can compare anything to is what we experience with our church family and if every church family is like ours, I don't know why every person in the world isn't in church. Um, our folks are really, really good. And so, ooh. Fire, man. Why didn't y'all, y'all see that light coming up behind me and you didn't tell me? Man, I don't know what to think about you. That wasn't who I thought it was. I just waved at the wrong person. And they're coming behind me. They're going to get me probably not gonna get me anyway family the church family amazing people and I think my mother-in-law made a strawberry cake I'm pretty sure that was her cake and it was delicioso she could boy mm, 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 mm. it was a good night at crossroads um, there's not a oh. Well, there's not many times that I feel just comfortable about my Bible study. I always feel like I've missed something or forgotten something. But I feel like tonight went well. And uh, numbers aren't what I'd like to see. I'd like to see more students there. But uh, it was it was a good night. And I'm encouraged because next week the students teach me. So that's, that's fun. We've done it for two months. And the last day of the month, I give them the topic. And they get together in groups and work. And they end up teaching me a lesson. So that's... 
that's encouraging. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, tomorrow's the last day of school for Jessica and the boy because they've got Friday off. It's some kind of bad weather day that they didn't have to take, so they get that day off. And uh, school's getting close. Uh, I talked to a guy tonight that's a senior. I think he's, he's got 20 something more days left, so you know, we're getting close. But I was uh, sitting here cutting video and realized that the last thing I shot, excuse me, I didn't push record. So you missed out on me and Barrett standing out on the porch talking, but uh, I'll try to do better tomorrow. I'm hoping Mount Vesuvius here will go down, and I'm hoping to have some good rest tonight, and I'm looking forward to a new day tomorrow. I uh, hope you've had a good day, and uh, I hope that you would love God, love people, and be better.